Hey everyone, so now I'm gonna do a video um, about my um, feather quill pens and so um, let's get started. So I have three feather quill pens, three, um, in total and they're all different. So the first one is this white one and it says Harry Potter on it. It kind of says, here it says, but I white out it out because I was really stupid and I thought it looked uncool. The next one is in this really cool heart shaped um, pen stand and um, it just, it's this green one. It just looks like that and it's really cool. And then I have this other one, and it's the Harry Potter one, because it has like these owl thing, and it's an owl feather, by the way, so it's really soft. You can see like the little fur on it, and it has this really nice, um, um, put this really nice design on it, so it looks cool. Okay, um, so I'm just going to write with each of them, so that you can see, um, how each of them right and um yeah so the first one's gonna be the white one and this ink bottle is really cool it has this um thing next to it so you can put your pens it's actually originally for this one wait i'm trying to take it out oh, okay so it's for this one it fits perfectly yeah so it's really cool okay um so you unscrew it just gonna angle the camera. You unscrew it and okay. And you can see the nib is like that. It's like a fountain pen, but it's not. So you dip it in and then you write. I'm just gonna write. Wait, whoa, what happened? Okay. That's not supposed to happen. I'm just gonna write it again, okay? Um I just wrote that there, and it looks really cool. Um, that's just the black ink, and it's from this Parker um thing, this ink bottle Parker, and I believe it's four dollars. And then I also have this blue ink one, and it's also from Parker. I use it less, but I'm gonna use um for three of them. I'm gonna use for three colors. I have also red. And I also have green, so it's really cool. Oh, and I have another green. I'm just going to get it. This green. But I'm not going to open it because it's actually a cork. So um, every time I open it, I get ink everywhere. But I got this from an Italian shop. Okay, so I have a lot of ink bottles, as you can see. Okay. So next with this pen, I'm going to use it to write um, um, in blue ink. I'm just going to unscrew this. Okay. one right there and it's blue you can't really tell but it is blue you see the difference okay and it's kind of backwards because yeah my camera's backwards it's always like this okay then I'm gonna show you um, the last pen this one and the nib is slightly thinner than um, the other pens so I'm going to write with this um, fancy red ink, and it looks really cool in this bottle. And this one, you kind of have to tip it. Okay. I'm just going to write on the board. 
Whoa. What happened? Okay, I'm just gonna do it again. Sometimes these pens can be quite annoying. Oh god, okay, okay. Cause then I didn't use this for a long time. So can I have a dip it for a long time? Okay. Oh, this works. It doesn't work. Oh it does. Okay. Um so it's this one right there. Red. Um this pen isn't that good. This one isn't that good, but it's okay. Then I'm gonna write with um, the green ink. So let's just put the lid back on just in case it spills. We don't want that to happen. Um, and I got this in England. It says calligraphy ink. I'm just gonna use this pen. By the way, my favorite one is the white one because it writes the neatest. Just dip that in. Is good. It's that one. Green ink. Okay. So now that you've seen all of them, um, I'm going to tell you where I bought them. I bought them in the shop in China when I went there on a holiday. Um, they sold like the whole shop. Um, the whole shop was like full of these pens and I thought they were really cool so I bought them. And then I only bought the white ones. I only bought this one. It, and it was really cheap, so I bought it. But then I came back like a year later, and I really liked this white one. So I got these other, these two. And I thought it was good too. And I read of ink, so I bought these Parker ones near my um, house. So it's really good. So these are all the ink bottles. And I also have this one and two empty ones that ran out and that is it and by the way this one this thing um um you just unscrew this and then you see how it's kind of loose you put a piece of like um tissue paper inside or paper towel and then you would do that again and you want that um, to wrap um, across this and then you just do that and the ink um, dries out onto the paper so then um, um, you don't have to like wait for it to dry I really like that but um, sometimes it's really bad because when it gets dirty like the whole when the whole piece of paper is full of black ink and stuff um, when you try to dry it, it actually like smudges, makes like these black marks on the page, so it's not as good as I thought it would be. So I actually regret buying that. Don't buy it. It's not that good. Oh, and I have another ink bottle here, and it just says Harry Potter on it. And you want to screw it? There is no ink inside because I ran out. So yeah, I have a lot of ink bottles. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten ink bottles. Oh my god. Okay, so um, this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about um these Venetian glass pens. So um, check out those next time. And subscribe to my channel so that I can show you um what I have. Oh my gosh, this broke. No, so what? Okay, it broke. I am very sad. But I shall do the video. Bye.